This is Roxy, and she's a 10-month-old Siberian Husky. But to me, she looks like a beautiful little koi wolf. This is her first appointment with us. At first, she was very unsure of the water, and at one point she decided she would like to evacuate from the bathtub. I figured it was just easier to bathe her standing up. Since she is just a puppy, she's not really shedding her coat yet. So today, I did not have to bathe her in our de-shedding shampoo. Instead, I am using my odor eliminator shampoo. For a moment, she started to enjoy the bath, until she remembered what breed she was. Many of you have asked why we use a chain in the bathtub, and I guess this answers the question. After she's been soaped up, she gives me a bath. I gave her a deep conditioning treatment, and then I rinsed her down. She began to give me a piece of her mind while I was trying to blow dry her. And when yelling at me just didn't work, she decided it was time to get physical. So to complete the job, she wears a muzzle. A muzzle is not just used when a dog is being aggressive. It can also be used to calm the dog down. As you can see, she is much more relaxed. She got a little bit nervous, so she peed a little. I left the muzzle on her while I clipped her nails because huskies typically don't like their paws being touched. And as I predicted, she certainly did not. It's important in these circumstances that I don't reward the temper tantrum by stopping what I'm doing. It was a struggle, but I got the job done safely. After I remove the muzzle, I dry her head and face using a small handheld dryer. I tried reasoning with her because sometimes I forget that I am in fact speaking to a dog. Some of you have asked why we don't give treats to every dog. The fact is, sometimes when dogs are stressed, they will not take treats, and sometimes dogs are not food motivated. After her bath, I brush her out using my coral brush, and then I attempt to deshed her using the undercoat rake, but she is not losing hair today. I switched over to the Equi Gruber, but I still could not release any hair. And now it's time to trim her paw pads. First I used the clipper, but she did not like the vibration or the sound, so instead I am using scissors. She finally did relax and I was able to get the job done safely. I sprayed her down in our champagne cologne, and this beautiful little wolf-like creature is all finished. And finally, at the end of her groom, she accepted some treats.